year we had a change, a slight change at the beginning of the year. We got our new faculty coordinator, Ms. Chris Morrow, to here with us today. And she was a big help in kind of pushing us forward and allowing us to grow the Jefferson Morris program. One of our initial goals this year was to involve the entire community in more than just the awards process and the nomination process. We really wanted everyone to be involved in our projects and events as well, so everyone felt like they had ownership in the Jefferson Awards process. <coughs> we also changed our recruitment strategy to allow more people to be part of the Jefferson Awards. Instead of individually selecting student leaders, we opened up recruitment at our club fair and gained five new members who've added a lot to the process. We also discussed students in actions with our eighth graders to introduce them to the program and Jefferson Awards, hoping to get them involved next year. At the end of this year, we'll have an ice cream social with our current student in action members, winners, past and present, and interested eighth and ninth graders to allow them to join for next year. As our junior leader, I will take over as senior leader next year. Our winners are nominated in a variety of ways. They are nominated by their friends, by their teachers, by their advisors, and this year we've even had parents nominate them. The uh, Jefferson Awards have become so popular at Tower Hill that people really, really want to win the award and start nominating themselves. <laughs> <laughs> we award our, uh, our winners monthly at all school assemblies and our community service showcase. Uh, we have a Jefferson Awards link on our website where the whole community can go to look at who's won. And the winners are also sent out in our monthly e-newsletter to parents um, in a community called The Weather Bay. In school, we have a Jefferson Awards bulletin board where um, the service has a uh, little summary of their service and their picture. And also on our community television screen that everyone looks at every day, we post our winners. Also, we send out press releases to the news journal, like most of the schools here. And we also started something new this year where when people come to like Tuesdays at Tower Hill, which are open houses, we um, give out a packet to the prospective Tower Hill families with Jefferson Awards information. So people not even in the Tower Hill community know what we're all about. One of our main goals this year was to utilize UGIV because it's a great tracking uh, system online. Uh, in, in September, we got every single upper school, school student registered on UGIV and registered all of their required 40 hours on the site. This year we accumulated over 4,445 hours, which equates to roughly $93,364.74, which we find quite impressive since we only have 221 students in our first school. We also felt that not every single hour was actually logged on UGIV since it is a new system. So next year one of our main goals is to make sure all of the hours are logged on there and that all opportunities that Town Hall students can participate in are available on the site. We also encourage local organizations, such as Lutheran Luther Community Services, to use UGIV as a way to get volunteers. This year, our Jefferson Awards team uh, hosted two drives at our school to benefit local charities. One of them was a coat drive from Lutheran Community Services, where we raised over $3,050 in coats, and also a blood drive for the blood bank, where over 38 pints were donated. One of, I think, the things we're really proud of about these projects is it wasn't just our Jefferson Awards team or even just the upper school involved. For the coat project, everyone from our tower tops, which are the three-year-olds, to seniors were involved with bringing coats in or sorting them, so everyone had a role. And for the blood drive, even people who couldn't donate blood either came to hold someone's hand or sat at the canteen, so everyone had a role in the process. This year, we held our second annual Leadership in the Press event which is an event where we invite community leaders to discuss their experience with the media. And this year we focused on civility since it's been such a current topic. So in the, at the beginning of the day, we had a workshop which focused on leadership styles, which one of our teachers led. And then we had a panel discussion with um, leaders such as Senator Chris Coons, Congressman John Carney, Jefferson Ward's founder, Sam Beard, and the executive editor, editor of the News Journal, um, David Ledford. We invited students from all the Jefferson Awards programs and also the schools that aren't part of it yet, such as Kennett High School and Villa Maria High School that are located in Pennsylvania. Uh, students from Tower Hill, Ursuline, Sally's, Tatnall, and Kennett and Villa Maria. <coughs> and next year we hope to continue relations with Kennett and Villa Maria and bring them into the Students in Action program. Uh, tonight we are continuing our goal leading by example with our Dumps for Diabetes slash Japan Relief event. It's a student versus faculty basketball game. 
that's had lots of success in the past when we did Hoops for Habitat or Hoops for Haiti. Um, the whole community, like they said, is involved in this event also. Lower schoolers are attending, middle schoolers are doing face painting, juniors are selling concessions, and then of course we have the students who are playing in the actual game. Um, to our, another goal for us was to partner um, schools nationally, not just in our own region. And we've done this with students at Mater Day High School in Santa Ana, California, and Shadyside High School um, in Ohio. And they are also participating um, in Juvenile Diabetes Research um, fundraisers, and we are going to pool all of our proceeds together and see how much more of a difference we can make um, when we all join together instead of just individual schools. So come to Dr. Diabetes tonight, and